Hey guys, Jules here. Got another video for you. I had four dreams on uh, November 13th, the morning of, and um, I got some excellent rest, but I had four dreams. It was, you know, it was wonderful. I was up late even reading the word. I won't, I try very, I can't go to bed without reading the word. Um, so I, I just make sure I, I'm in it, you know, as much as possible. But I want to give God the glory for all the dreams and visions and words of knowledge that he's given us, all the prophetic people. Um, he keeps speaking to us about what's coming to get ready. And um, so I just thank you, Lord. I praise you, Father. We give you thanks and we give you honor. We give you all the glory, all the glory, Lord. I am nothing without you, Father God. So this is two dreams. It's dream number 272 and also 274. And so, you know, when I get the dream, I'll, I'll, I'll write it down, you know, um, in my notes, I take notes, I'll, I'll, I'll write it down and then, um, I'll go back to sleep then have another dream and then I'll write it down. So this is 272 and 274. Um, the Lord had four wonderful dreams, um, confirming a bunch of different things. But right, before I get started in the dreams, I want to, I want to tell you that, um, I was actually um, in another state, a, a few states away. So, uh, I had a wonderful brother and sister that contacted me and said, hey, we want to donate something to the wilderness ministry. And we believe that will help, uh, you know, help you in the wilderness. And so I prayed about it and I felt the Lord. Um, I, he gave me, he gave me um, you know, confirmation to go. I prayed about it and I said, is this something you want me to go? He said, you will have favor. You have favor to go. So I, you know. Um, I, um, drummed up my, my, my team and, and we, we went and we went on, we went to, you know, a few States away, uh, not even knowing where we're going to stay. We just, just leaned on the Holy spirit and man, I'll tell you what, the Holy spirit took wonderful care of us and, you know, set us up in a, a great place and, 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 you know, had traveling mercies. It was just, it was just awesome. So, so the Lord, um, the morning, this morning of the 13th, um, the Lord gave me a confirmation about going to get the donations because I was, I, I don't want to do anything that God doesn't want me to do. So here's what, here's what his message was. And this is also to the couple. <laughs> this is also to the couple that were obedient to God. Perfection of spiritual order concerning cargo, your donation, and doing the will of God. This is a godly example. That was the message I got. So thank you. Thank you very much for being obedient, for being obedient. And um, so this is, I want to get on to the dreams now. This is an urgent message. The Lord is saying, get this out ASAP. Get this out so the believers can, can act, right? So the first dream, 272, I named it the bike on the brick wall dream. And then the um, dream number 274 is, um, is, is named start si sipping the wine dream. <laughs> so some of you guys are going like, yeah, all right, start sipping the wine. It's not that kind of wine. All right. So this is prophetic insight. The Lord is telling me that about the Holy Spirit and, and the church, the bride of Christ. And he's saying that. The um, the bride of Christ, the, the church, current church, is denying the power of the Holy Spirit. They are um, quenching the Spirit. And the church, uh, the bride of Christ, is being worked on. And this is a place of preparation for the coming of Christ, for the coming of Christ, right? And um, so the church, the bride of Christ, is getting ready to go on a humbling journey, the Lord is telling me. It's going to be a, it's going on a humbling journey. And this is with, this is the, the, the invasion that we know about. This is coming. This is also uh, with the earthquakes. And we're in the tribulation, folks. We're in the tribulation. It started August 31st for us, September 1st for the world, which was, you know, Rosh Hashanah. And he's saying that this rebellion that the church is in right now is causing a barrier to the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. It's causing a barrier to the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Now, the Lord is saying, um, with my second, with my other dream, start sipping the new wine. 
he said, you know, he says, Jules, this is prophetic insight that a fleshly vessel needs resurrection. And he's talking about many of the Christians, brothers and sisters in the church that are not in relationship. They're, they're lukewarm. They're lukewarm. They're not in relationship with Christ. And, and he's saying, if we all would move into that relationship, if we all would move in closer into that secret place, to that private place where we can worship, praise God, and read his word, and pray and talk to him, that if we all move in, this is going to spark, right? This is going to start a spark and, and a revival from the Holy Spirit. And But he's saying right now, the Lord is telling me that, um, that the church are withholding, are withholding from God. And there is a call to bless God with praise and worship, but the church is withholding from that. So pastors out there, ministers, you have if you're a shepherd and you're withholding the spirit, the, you know, the, the Holy Spirit, if you're quenching the Holy Spirit, you will be dealt with. You are going to be dealt with. There's no question about it. And so the Lord is saying that if we all would press in and start pressing in more and giving more of our time and less of our flesh, right? Less of going out to eat, less of eating. Less of wondering when our next meal, when we're going to have our next meal, or or what about the next TV show that we're going to watch, or you know our computer game that we're going to play, different things like that that feed our flesh. Push them away. Stop doing it. If if you have something that is keeping you, that is kind of controlling your flesh, and that's kind of that you're addicted to things like this, this is keeping you from moving in close to God, and so you've got to start denying your flesh. If, if it's something that you want to do, turn your back on it and tell it, no, I'm not going to do that. All right. If it's something that you want your flesh wants to do, deny your flesh and, and turn to God. Turn to God and worship and prayer and reading the word. The Lord's saying that by doing this, by turning to God, by turning to the Holy Spirit, and by worshiping and praying, reading the word, we are going to, the result is going to be spiritual revival, spiritual union with the Holy Spirit. And so that's my message, folks. Um, I, I hope that, you know, you get something out of it. I just want to tell you again, I can't say it enough. Please press in to the Lord through prayer and worship and, and reading his word and good, you know, good, good, solid uh, events where those three events where you're, you're actually feeling the Holy Spirit come upon you and repent of your sins, repent of the things you've done wrong, repent of disobedience. And because with disobedience in your heart, you are away from God. That's a it's a bad place to be. So that's all I got. Love you very much. Um, until next time, until the next dream, <laughs> which I had a dream this morning, which I don't exactly know what it's saying. I need to pray and interpret. But um, until next time, Jules out.